Hello, book two. This is Alan, the Lonely Bookshelf. I'm here with a quick review of Cloud Cuckoo Land, which I just finished. Hope you can see that. A lot of clear right there. Sorry about that. Yeah, Cloud Cuckoo Land by Anthony Doerr. His previous novel was, of course, a lot of people know, was All the Light We Cannot See, in which he won a Pulitzer Prize. That's the last time I would mention that book, because on my good on Goodreads, if you go to Goodreads and go Cloud Cuckoo Land, people will mention uh, Anthony Doerr's previous book, Ad Nauseam. One reviewer for Cloud Cuckoo Land mentioned the previous Anthony Doerr's previous book five times in his review. So if you want to get a full review of the book Cloud Cuckoo Land, you can go to my Instagram page, which is braswell.allen, or go to my Goodreads page. You get a full review for that. Or you can go to the customer reviews on the Barnes & Noble website. So anyway, I will not do any spoilers or anything for Cloud Cookie Land. Anyway, for those who are reading it and those who are thinking about reading it. <coughs> excuse me. But it starts off with the premise is 13-year-old Anna, an orphan, lives inside the formidable walls of Constantinople. This is in 1495. She learns to read and finds a book in the library. The story of Atheon, who longs to be a bird so that he can fly to the utopian paradise in the sky. Omer, who lives outside the walls of Constantinople, a village boy constricted, conscripted with his beloved oxen. Miles from home. 500 years later, the library in Idaho, Zeno, who has learned Greek as a POW, rehearses five children in a play, adaptation of Atheon's story. Tucked inside the shelves is a bomb planted by a troubled, idealistic teenager, Seymour. And in the not-so-distant future, on the interstellar ship Argos, Constance is alone in a vault copying down scraps of Sacking the Story by Atheon, told to her by her father. She has never set foot on her planet. So what you have is five children in this story, which is 600... <clears throat> Excuse me, 600 pages long. And it all revolves around this story. And the story is called uh, Cloud Cuckoo Land. And it's, it's a fictional story. But his, he could, the writer, Anthony Doerr, contributes the, the story to the Greek philosopher Diogenes. And... Each time you, uh, the character is introduced, they're actually older. So that's how it goes with the story. So you have the, uh, the story, Cloud Cuckoo Land, and then you have a story maybe of Zeon, Xenon, is that correct? No, Zeno, excuse me, Zeno, or, and also Constance. Or you'll have a story about Anna and uh, Omer. So each one has, they're born, and then when they come back to the character, they're a little bit older. And then they're a little bit older each time they go come back. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> it's sort of like what I wrote in my review. The world as it is, is enough. Every human is a parasite agent. That's what Seymour believed in. And what you have to do is to look at the connections. There's a lot of connections in the book. For those who are reading it, 
because a lot of people are confused about it. There's a lot of confused uh, connections to book. How is very important because in play, Atheon wants to be a bird and he wants to fly to the uh, to the utopian paradise in the sky. There's a, uh, and this is going to be a spoiler for those, uh, Seymour is a best friend, his friend is, uh, is an owl. He calls him trusty friend. Um, uh, I forgot the guy's name again, oh, sorry. Zeno is a POW in the Korean War. He is friends with a guy named Rex, who lives, who is from England. And Rex teaches Zeno Greek. And so you have, uh, so they have codes with each other uh, in Greek. And Rex's code is from the Greek, and don't have it written down yet here. But it's a Greek for trusty friend. So he had those connections all throughout this book. And you also have connections with the libraries. There's a library in Constantinople where Anna comes upon this book, which is the Cloud Cuckoo Land by Diogenes. And then you have the library in Idaho, where the five children are rehearsing a play about Cloud Cuckoo Land, based on Cloud Cuckoo Land, that was translated from the Greek by Zeno. And then you have Constance, who's above, the, who's above the, in the interstellar spaceship, and she is uh, in a library there on the spaceship. But she also goes to the library in Idaho, where the five children are, where Zeno is, and where Seymour is. So it's a very, very, very good book. And it has a lot of, uh, it's like I said, it has a lot of connections. And you have to understand the connections. Uh, one story connects to another story that connects to another story. Just a little hints like the library, owl. Uh, there's another one. Oh, this diet. If you read the Diogenes uh, play Cloud Cuckoo Land, and then read the part of maybe Anna, Anna or Zeno, or Omer, and their stories basically go along with what is said. And the Diogenes play before it, so it's kind of it's kind of clever the way uh, and uh, the the author used it, and uh, it's very clever. There's one part in which there's a riddle. I'm not spoil this for everyone. It's just a riddle, <clears throat> and it says, "He that knows all that learning." Ever writ. Knows only this. That he knows nothing yet. Well that's my uh, kind of a short summary of Cloud Cuckoo Land. You want to see the rest of my. Of what I said about it. You can go to my Instagram page. Uh, Braswell Dollar Allen <clears throat> custom reviews on Barnes and Noble or go to Goodreads. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.